Hello, hello everyone. This is Charlotte. Welcome back to my my channel. I am happy that you're here today and um, I hope that you will enjoy what I'm going to share with you. I am uh, sharing the file folder that we just finished making. I'm sharing the tag book that is coming on Monday and I'm sharing an ornament book. So let's get with the file folder first. You're all very familiar with this. I went ahead and decorated the Christmas tree. I added a jingle bell because you know me, Christmas just isn't Christmas without that. This is the back. It is a window into the tree. I think it's as cute as can be. I put a really, really pretty Christmas ribbon on here. So let's go. All right, inside, we did a lot of this together, but uh, we are finally able to get this listed and share it. So here is page one, and I've got two tickets in here, plus a, um, a ticket with a little ornament on it. Super, super cute. Goes right inside that bell. You can see I've got It's a Wonderful Life and 25 on here. I also put a um, holly and leaves. There is this tag here. I know many of you have already seen a lot of these elements, so if you want to skip this and um, just kind of fast forward, I get it. I just wanted to come on here and then just show this to the public. It is adorable. You can see I put my coffee tea dyed paper on here and then I also added, it seemed plain to me. And so I came in and I added washi tape as well. Uh, Christmas pudding and two little stamps here go on um, in this pocket. And then we have a snowflake on this little guy here. And we have, I know there's another one in here. Here we go. And you can see I did go around and I stitched really, really pretty. Um, I stitched the ones I could, not, not everything. I was going to stitch on this and I decided not to. There was just something about, I think, those colors because this is um, Christmas tricolor thread and I just wasn't too sure about that. So I skipped that one. This one I couldn't do either because of the snowflake, so I let it go. You know, this one we have a flip. I did keep all of these beautiful strings. Um, if you purchase this, you can easily cut them off. Again, a plaid washi tape here. Something that just kind of brings this to life. So we've got this pocket here, and it's got a uh, December 1943 photograph of a couple in the snow. Matches this one here that I created the little side pocket out of. Then we've got a little calling card in this calling card. And I stitched around this. The stitching on this, I think, just really makes it so, so pretty. Um, we did this one together, remember? Yeah, she's so cute with her Christmas pudding. This was a delight to make. I've got, I think, I believe four more file folders, so maybe in the spring. Um, two tags here, another photograph. I did put some washi on here. That is the back. This one I know we did together online. I don't know if we did the, um, I don't think that we did this glitter. I felt this page needed something, and so I went ahead and added the glitter to the window. It just kind of looks like snow, and I really love that. Then I went ahead and also stitched around this one. 
so pretty. And this one I did not, any cute, but this flips up. A little bit of a candy cane there, just a little bit more journaling space. Because I had the candy cane back here, I used the rest of it on the inside. So that is that. And then if you recall, this is the back. And yes, I, I went ahead and stitched around that too, and I'm glad I did. So this now, this sweet book is in my shop and ready for a new home, guys. So, yep, there she is. So here is one. And then let's get into, this is going to be Monday's challenge. I'm in love with this, just really in love with this. I think it turned out so nice. And as you can see, it has a very unusual cover. What keeps the front and the back together is this paper right here, and then obviously this ribbon. So um, you don't have to untie it or take it apart. This slips right out, just like that. So um, in here, we've got our toilet paper rolls, and there are five of them. They're attached just like we did our file folder, and so this is what we will be creating together. I uh, used Christina's Gnome Digital, and I will have Christina's shop listed below in the description box. Um, I saw where gnomes were very popular this year, and I kind of was like, ooh, I don't really get it. Um, I do now because these are cute as can be. I went through and added ephemera to each one of them. Here is some washi tape. I fussy cut it out the gnomes, and you can see there's ephemera here. I will pull the tags out after I show the little pockets. There's um, scrapbook paper on the back so that you can journal. Um, isn't he cute? I gave his little pom-pom some snow. There is a uh, ornament. It originally was a button. Some ephemera here with some glitter and then a uh, word. And word here and then some glitter on him as well. A uh, 3D Christmas tree. Some mistletoe and then glitter. Each gnome is different. Here is a puffy sticker, a puffy sticker. These are puffy stickers and then a bow. A uh, puffy sticker candy cane and a... Um, uh, ornament a box. This is from a, a Christmas present box from Hobby Lobby. And the last one is this, another uh, present from Hobby Lobby. I love this gnome. I also gave him a little poinsettia there and some holly berries up here with a bow. So for the tags inside, they are Tim Holtz tags, and each one is different. This is a repair tag. I left the back blank for journaling, but isn't that so cute? All the gnomes are different. So this is a uh, repair tag. This is a layaway tag. So you've got your Tim Holtz peppermint, you've got a present, and here's some washi tape. There is the back. Um, really, really cute, cute ribbon. This gnome is on a, okay, the tag doesn't say, but um, it's different, all the tags are different. So you have washi tape, and you've got a Christmas tree there, and then glitter here at the bottom. Isn't he cute? Really cute. This one is an, an alteration tag. So again, washi tape, and here's a puffy sticker because he had a candy cane. I believe I put um, Nouveau Glaze on this. And then the puffy sticker. So this is the alteration tag. And then this last tag is an evidence tag. And I put a Christmas button on him and a plastic holly with berries and a bow. 
out of the um, Baker's Baker's twine and then here again is um, some washi tape so this uh, this is in my shop it's just cute as can be I love this and I hope that you will uh, tune in Monday for the challenge as we make another one it just plops right down in there like that and then the little jingle bell this was the last little Santa jingle bell that I had and so um yeah and he will stand up do I have him he does stand up well he's not standing up for me but he he did stand up before yeah there he goes so he will stand up be really cute on a shelf during the holidays just um cute 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 then this, um, right now this is not listed. Hopefully by the time you see this it will be. Uh, it is an ornament journal, as you can see. So it's going to hang on the tree like that. It's got really, really pretty fabric and it measures, I believe. I did this with one of the soap boxes. You've seen me. I do these every year. This is a two and a half by a three and a quarter. Um, I don't know how many more of these I will do. I'm hoping to get more done because they are adorable on the Christmas tree. But um, I did stitching around the outside. You can see that there. And I did leave the strings. And then inside there's um, all the gnomes that I had left. This one is in a pocket. But um, it's not gnomed themed. It's got um, some vintage music paper, copy dyed paper, cardstock, book page, and then um, three signatures. So you can add, you can write in here. It's really cute. There's one of the gnomes. I just attached them with little mini paper clips. As you can see here, I had quite a few of the gnomes left. And this is stitched with the uh, um, Baker's Twine. It's got a little bit of gold running through it. There is a gnome. They uh, All three signatures have cardstock. They've got the gnomes. They've got um, vintage book page. There's a little blue gnome and some coffee or tea dyed paper. There's a sweet gnome there. There's a German book page. There's washi tape throughout. There's a gnome with a little hot chocolate. German book page cardstock, vintage music, and at the last gnome is a little blue gnome with um, some more washi tape, and that is the back. So just an adorable book. Ornament, like I said, you can hang it. You don't have to hang it on the tree. You could hang it on a knob, on a key, on a dresser drawer. Just cute put it on the outside of a gift. Adorable. So if you go in and you look for this in my shop and you don't find it, be sure to check back because it may not be listed when this video comes out first thing in the morning, but it will be listed uh, on the day that you're seeing this video. So I hope guys that you enjoy seeing this. I'm excited to see you Monday. I hope you'll be there. Um, I will catch you tomorrow when we do our index card video. And uh, have a great one. Thanks again. Big hugs. Bye, guys.